guys, welcome back to another Make Up Your Mind. If you don't know what these videos are, it's basically Get Ready With Me's where I talk about weird topics or psychology topics or just not weird topics, they're good topics. I had a completely different topic planned for today and a different makeup look, but with doing my assignment this morning, which I'll talk about my assignment more, I was like, why don't I talk about feminism? So that's what we're gonna talk about today while we chill and do our makeup. I just want to say thank you to Vanity Planet for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be using their vegan synthetic makeup brushes. I haven't tried them out yet, but I thought a get ready with me where we just sit and chit chat would be the perfect time to use them. I can tell you they feel very, very soft. And like I said, they're vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. And this pouch is vegan as well. I actually have a really amazing coupon code for you down below. You get 70% off. 70% off. They're originally like $100, so yeah. Really affordable with the coupon code. I will have it linked down below, but let's just go ahead and get started. Firstly, I'm gonna prime using my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. My skin is feeling a little bit dry today. The weather has been getting better, but we're about to go into another week of like almost 100 degree weather, which I'm just so over summer, so over it. But I'm getting more into the fall spirit because guess what this weekend is? I'm filming my first Halloween video. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna give you guys a little hint. It's a continuation of something I started two years ago. So go back on my channel two years ago at Halloween time and see what I did. And it's gonna be something like that. For my foundation, I'm gonna use this flat top kind of kabuki style brush and I'm going to mix foundations, which I think I did in my last one as well. But it's just been my go-to because of full coverage. I've been breaking out lately, although it's starting to clear up, but I have a lot of breakouts going on. So I'm going to use the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Light to Mont Blanc. I use like two pumps of that. And then I do a little teeny bit of the Kat Von D because I need to lighten up the Mont Blanc shade, but I also want more coverage, so. So the issue I have with this foundation usually is that it looks a little bit cakey up close and in like daytime and this brush seems to make it look a little bit better so I'm a fan and it blends it out really nicely. So I'm gonna tell you a little story time okay with why we're talking about feminism today. Now I don't want this to be like a controversial conversation by any means but I don't think feminism is very much a controversial subject. I think that it is a legitimate thing to talk about and important that we talk about, right? And I get requested a lot to talk about it, so yeah. So first day of class, first of all, I'm in a sex role stereotyping in American education course. It's a writing intensive course, so it has nothing to do with my psychology degree at all. So it's the first day of class, right? My teacher asks in the beginning, how many of you identify as a feminist? And without thinking, my hand shot in the air because I'm a very proud feminist. I thought a majority of the class was going to raise their hand. That might be a naive thing to think, but I genuinely thought that more people would identify as feminists, especially in a class of 30 people, 90% of them were women. So I thought, yeah, sure, there's gonna be at least half, like at least 20 people, maybe. There was 11 other people besides me, one of which was a man. I was very proud of that man to raise his hand. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take the Locket Concealer in the shade L5 Neutral and just put that under my eyes and anywhere I have blemishes, so all over my face. I'm gonna use like this flat foundation brush to blend in the concealer. My teacher had a really good response though. She didn't seem surprised at all. She's been teaching the class for five years, so I'm guessing she gets that kind of low number a lot. Her response was simply, okay, well, we'll see if I can't convert you by the end of the semester. Basically, she's gonna ask us again, and I really hope I see more than 20 hands. I really like how this makeup looks with this brush. These brushes, it looks really good. Like, usually it's kind of cakey looking, which I'm willing to sacrifice for a full coverage, but I really like how all of this looks and it keeps the coverage. Like, look at this coverage. Next, I'm going to powder with Kat Von D's Translucent Powder. I'm gonna use the powder brush from the collection. So she proceeds to ask the class, so what is feminism? Like I do not answer questions in class. I never raise my hand, I'm very, very shy. And the only time I will is if I 100% know the answer, first of all, but also if I'm feeling real like social that day because I just, I have really bad anxiety speaking in public and so I just don't do it. But after no one raised their hand, I was like, this answer is so easy, like it's so simple. Why is no one else answering it? So I raised my hand and I just say gender equality. Like feminism, 
really is that simple. There's nothing else to it. I mean, there's more complex versions of feminism, of course, such as intersectional feminism. My kids are fighting on the bed, can you not? Which I myself identify as intersectional feminist, which is basically just equality for every single person on earth. But if you were to ask these people, like, do you believe men and women should be equal? I'm assuming at least a majority of them would say yes, given the country that we live in and everything. For contour lately, what I've been doing, probably a lot of people are gonna hate this, but you know, I love my muddy contour. I'm going to mix uh, Laguna, right, and Paloma from the NARS blush palette, mix these together. I'm gonna use this angled brush actually and try it out. It's not really a contour as it is like muddy blush. That's my aesthetic. When do you think the word aesthetic will die? I'm really curious. I have never used a fan brush in my life. What better day than to start today? So I'm gonna use the Ben Nye Shimmer Powder as my highlight. I love this stuff and it literally lasts forever. I've given some to friends in like little jars. Like it just, it lasts forever. Ho, <laughs> ho, ho. If I wanted an intense highlight, this is sure gonna do the trick. I've, it's a highlight from space, that kind of thing. Normally not my thing, but we're going with it today. I mean, we're doing metallic on the lips, why not do metallic on the face too? I'm actually gonna do my brows off camera just because, again, I do it in every single video and it's the same exact thing I do every time and I hate doing my brows, so I'm not gonna wanna talk to you while I do them, so be right back. For the eye look, I'm gonna use the original Naked palette. It's been a while since I've used it. Clearly, it used to be well loved, but like I said, been a while, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna take the fluffy brush from the Vanity Planet set and use the shade Buck, just in my crease area. You know I think I wanna do today? liquid eyeliner. I feel like it's been a while since I've done liquid eyeliner and I think it'll look really good with the look, like the lip look I'm going for. Next I'm going to take this shade Dark Horrors, which is the dark color on this more pencil brush, more precise brush, and put that in the outer. So the assignment that I, that sparked this whole kind of conversation that we're having today is, it's a scavenger hunt and it's our first assignment of the semester. And we had to go out, there's a list of 18 things, and we had to go out, we weren't allowed to use the internet, and we had to find certain things that, they're very specific things, like you have to find a greeting card, or like a card from a father to a son that had flowers on it, or you had to find a woman's magazine where the table of contents had nothing to do with weight loss or weight gain. Surprisingly, the women's table of contents without the weight uh, weight loss topics were really easy to find. It's the first magazine I picked up. It was an in style and I found it right away and there was nothing to do with weight loss. I'm gonna mix Buck and Dark Horse and use that under the lower lash line. One of the other ones that I found was a baby card that was not gender specific. I'm gonna talk about the colors used, like yellows, greens, purples, because blue and pink is reserved for boys and girls. I'm gonna take this more precise flat brush and what shade am I using? I'm actually going to wet it and use Sidecar because I know that's got some uh, fallout glitter in it and I'm not, I don't wanna clean it up, you know? Basically, it's just scary uh, what you see in advertising for women. If you've never seen the documentary Killing Us Softly, it's really, really good. Taking a bit of Sin and putting that on top of Sidecar. This next part, I'm a little bit terrified. I have not done liquid eyeliner in months, so we're just... We're gonna go in. I... okay. I'm gonna use the Essence Forbidden Volume Mascara. The one thing I hate about Essence Mascaras is when you go to the display, they're all just like this. Someone could easily come around and just open all of them. They could put it on, like you don't, it's not sealed. So if you buy Essence Mascara, what do you do? Do you just not care? Like I'm, I don't know how to work that out. I 
So I'm just genuinely curious about why people don't identify as feminist. I think it has to do with the feminazi label that people get when you identify as feminist, which doesn't make sense to me. I don't think that's a good reason to not identify as feminist because all feminism is is equality of the sexes. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the topic we talked about today. I'm not done or anything. I mean, I'm kind of done with the topic, but I'm not done with the makeup. But I want to hear your thoughts on it. So I'm going to do some lip art. I know, I'm not an artist by any means, but I want to work with one of these new Lime Crime metallics. And I was going to use the shade Blondie because I saw someone do like a nude lip with Blondie in the middle. But Blondie's a little too like peachy toned for the look I ended up doing on the eyes. So I'm going to use Mercury, which is like a cool toned silvery mauve purple but i don't know what lip to do underneath of it i think i'm gonna go ahead and do cashmere even though i know i've done this recently in my cool tone i have makeup all over me i know i used it recently in that cool toned makeup look that i did and i just think it's gonna look really really pretty with mercury so i'm going to use it anyway i'm sorry i wanted this to be like a different kind of look for me and it's turning out not to be but i mean i'm using a metallic lip that's not normal There's cashmere alone. Now I'm going to put on mercury. I think I'm going to start with just a little bit in the middle and then pat it out. I didn't think I'd like mercury as much as I do because it's so cool toned and I usually don't gravitate towards the cooler toned lip, but this is gorgeous. You know, what? I kind of want to put a little bit of blondie right on the middle. <laughs> I'm just going overboard, guys. Someone stop me. What do you guys think about the uh, metallic lip trend that's going on? I kind of like it. It's really different and it's pretty and I love that they come in liquid lipstick form so you don't have to worry about like gloss and all of that. I like that lip combo though. It's very like alien-esque. At least I tried something different, right? <laughs> anyway, if you're in the market for a vegan brush kit or just a cruelty-free brush kit, highly, highly, highly recommend these. These are really good. I'll have a link to them down below along with the coupon code. I don't get anything out of it, just saying. And also I want to have like a healthy discussion over the topic that I covered today down below and and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.